gonna see if as a chocolate girly this is not gonna leave us with a white cast but also I have normal to dry clog prone skin what is that gonna do for us over time we may have to do a update video at a later time but for now we got to see what it's talking about this is a first impression video and I'm taking you along with me this is the Trader Joe's daily facial sunscreen SPF 40 nine dollars for a oil-free, invisible gel formula, fragrance-free, water and sweat resistant for 40 minutes, SPF 40 daily facial sunscreen. Trisha Joe's is always holding us down. Joe is that guy, okay? Hey, baby loves, welcome back to the fiesta. If you're new here, my name is Key Shana Dufuy, and if you're not, huh, get loyal. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell down below if you're interested in seeing weekly hair or skin, product reviews, tips, tricks, and advice every Sunday the first time I've ever tried their sunscreen. I have tried a few of their other products and honestly, majority of them went really well for me. Check out this video above if you're curious, but they're good. I actually have pretty high expectations for this. I think it's gonna go well and I have had a friend say that they liked it. So, woo! -hoo. And I am in the market for a water resistant sunscreen that I can use daily in the summer and reapply throughout the day if I need. But also something that I can use on days where I'm working out that's gonna layer well with my products and not sting my eyes this is 1.7 fluid ounces aka 50 milliliters again for nine dollars at trader joe's this is the packaging right here okay before we try it let's talk about what else it's supposed to do for us standard sunscreen got you looking ghostly you know that ugly white cast Trader Joe's daily facial sunscreen to the rescue. This weightless feeling translucent gel sunscreen is specifically formulated for quick absorption, leaving behind a soft and silky matte finish, no greasy residue or whitish cast in sight. Ideal for daily use, it makes a marvelous primer under makeup. Oh, that's good to know. And offers oxybenzone free SPF 40 protection that's suitable for all skin types and tones. Truly, what could be finer? Trader Joe's, well said. Y'all covered all y'all bases with that one. Quickly absorbing, it's weightless and lightweight, matte silky finish, no greasy residue, no white cast, good for all the skin tones and skin types. And good under makeup. Check y'all out, I'm excited. Directions, apply liberally and generously 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply after 40 minutes of swimming or sweating. Immediately after child drying and at least every two hours. Really quick, if you made this far, I hope you like and subscribe because you're already vibing with your girl. On this channel, we care about having glowing skin and growing our hair all at an affordable price. So if that's something that you can relate to, comment down below what's your favorite Trader Joe's product. I don't care if it's food or shampoo, put me on. But also don't forget to like, subscribe, and continue watching. Apply some to the back of my hand first so that we can see what it's given. And this is looking like some Aquaphor or Vaseline. I don't think I've ever tried a sunscreen that looks like this or feels like this. It's a lot lighter than a Vaseline, but genuine. Wow. Hold on. That is so cool. It is so soft. It honestly feels pretty moisturizing as well. My goodness. I see why they say a dime size amount. I put so much on the back of my hand. I'm applying it all. Because they say you're supposed to put three fingers worth of sunscreen. I don't do that to be honest, especially if you're gonna be reapplying your sunscreen every two hours. Why would you need so much? But the, ooh, for the amount I'm applying, it's still spreading so easily. You generally don't need that much y'all. A little goes a long way. I could have used the dime size. I put a whole quarter, but wow, look at how it just synced into my skin. No residue at all. I am layering it over my other products right now and nothing. No residue, no gunkiness, no pilling so far. Oh, this feels so nice. You could barely see me applying it. It is literally an invisible gel formula. That's incredible. Don't forget your eyelids. Nobody told me nothing. Like I told me it was good, but not this good. 
I will probably be stocking up on this for the summer and just using it as my body sunscreen before I leave the house. Once I'm out, it's just easier to do the spray. But before I leave, I wouldn't mind lathering up on this because a little is so spreadable. Y'all have seen how much I applied to my skin. And look, I am just going to pray that with everything this does have doing super well, that I can apply this every two hours and that it doesn't clog my skin up i am just gonna have to keep track of it and pay attention the dry down on this immaculate it doesn't leave me as glowy it's a genuine skin light matte finish mm. whoa i am impressed trader joe's you did it again and for nine dollars that is so ooh, i appreciate y'all y'all are looking out for our products and giving us quality every time if you have not tried any Trader Joe's facial and body care products, I will actually recommend that this be the first one. It is all for my first use. Just before my melanated babies, we be struggling to find a good water resistant sunscreen. So to have such a good experience, I'm not, this is not even a joke. This is not a false alarm. Go and get your hands on this in Trader Joe's. I need to double check if it's only available in the summer, springtime. I don't know. I'm going to really hope not because, one, you're supposed to be using sunscreen all year round. Even when the sun, you think the sun not beaming on you, it's you still have to use it. We just need to stock up on this, especially for the summer. And it does have the expiration date right here at the top. Mine expires August 2025. I'm so happy the dry down is insane it feels like a really good moisturizer translucent gel that is weightless accurate and for us chocolate girlies it is genuinely invisible not a white cast in sight fragrance free it smells like absolutely nothing if you're sensitive to smell have no worries water and sweat resistant i'm gonna just have to trust it soft and silky matte finish yes no greasy residue correct let me know if you have any questions about the products or advice on how i could be using this maybe on the makeup if you got any tips for me put me on and if you have any product suggestions or video requests also comment them down below because if your idea is selected you will get a shout out thank you so much for watching i'll be back soon ciao